Okay, this is Admiral Preparedness here. We're down in our food bunker. And I was watching a video earlier today about a gentleman who was talking about the shelf life of tomato products. And I want to see exactly what the expiration dates or best buy on a few of my canned goods. Now this is a tomato sauce product. It is quite in good shape. It's best used by is November 4, 2014. Uh, it's the last one in that container. But I also have a tomato product excellent can condition its product day 2013 hmm. so I'm beginning to think that the individual who is talking about tomato products not surviving very well in cans this one is 2015 uh, he mentions that when the cans go south, they take a lot of stuff with them. Well, <clears throat> I'm kind of, I'm not going to disagree with him, but this storage bunker is at a constant 62 degrees Fahrenheit. And everything down here uh, has not gone south. But he did mention that these also go south uh, because of the acid levels in the in the food product. And this one, I'm having a little bit of difficulty seeing a date. Uh, well, other than not being able to determine what the best buy or best use or whatever, the can is definitely not compromised. But it's been here down. It's been down here quite a while now. Mayonnaise. That's always an iffy. I had one bottle that I bought from another source do definitely went south and it didn't make me very happy when I found it out because it wasn't for my normal stores now, mandarin oranges are another product that this gentleman spoke about going south shortly after it expires uh, this one is 20 15 and it's in good shape so we'll have to hold off on that call uh, I do have some tomato soup product of course that one's going upstairs since I dropped it like an idiot with me we don't stores dented cans this one 26 16 so it's past its best buy I'll put that in the pocket take it with us I have a hanker for tomato soup anyway so near uh, oh my b2 jacket these are on my, this is the back side of the cans that we have for the pantry rotation. None of these are expired. These are all best buys in the next six to six months to a year. All these boxes here are meals ready to eat. Now back here is just a small pit smidgen of my water stores. Oh goes back there now unfortunately like I was telling somebody 
in an earlier vlog, vlog, I'm having to work out some me medical issues, and when I do ever get better, which is, should be around the corner, I'm going to arrange all of this in a more logical manner because it's a complete nightmare now. I know the silk's not good, but that's either here or there. So, there are plenty of meals for enough days of not having anything. Sun-made raisins, those do well. These are um, other items that we like to keep in storage. We do eat a lot of vegetables, canned goods as well. When it comes to peanut butter, I do rotate them every few months. That way the oils, when they separate, the oils will come to the top. Now the top is now the bottom, so those oils are going to migrate back up through the material. Believe me, that's the way to do it. I've done it for years. 20 year peanut, 20 year old peanut butter is nothing new to me. Uh, our large box store stopped selling spam. So I'm really glad I stocked up on that. It was quite inexpensive. Grab my can. Uh, pasta. Uh, I'm looking for a particular pasta, as a matter of fact, and I can't see it, but I'm working it. Uh, we have some more food. Oh, there's a, now, that's a barter item. Uh, these cans of, of um, Dak ham are definitely, if you like, uh, you know, salt in your diet, that's the way to go. Canned chicken. Now, a lot of times you want to rotate your cans only because your the eyeball wants to read English from afar, from a distance. There's a window up in that corner right there. You can't really see it, but if anybody does look in here, I want them to not be able to read quite plainly what is here. Uh, how you do that is through camouflage. What you do is you take certain items like this and just place them nondescript, nondescriptly in the way. So the eye gets confused and nearly doesn't understand what it's really looking at. So in saying that, what we're going to do is stop for now. This is Admiral Preparedness down in the food bunker. You guys have a good day. Bye now.